Hi, my name is Kelly Johnson, and today I'm going to be performing Zoe from the movie Something's Gotta Give. This is really fascinating what's going on here at this table. Let's take you and Erica. You've been around the block a few times, right? What are you? 60? 63. Fantastic. Never married, which, as we know, if you were a woman, you'd be a curse. You'd be an old maid, a spinster, blah, 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 blah. So instead of pitying you, they write an article about you, celebrating the fact that you've never married. You're elusive, a real catch. Then there's my gorgeous sister here. No, 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 no. Look at her. She's so accomplished. Most successful playwright since who? Ah, Lillian Hellman. She's over 50. She's divorced. And she stays in night after night after night. Why? Because men her age, they want something. Well, forgive me. They want someone who looks like Marin. The over 50 dating scene is geared towards men leaving single women out. And as a result, the women become more and more productive and therefore more interesting, which in turn makes them less desirable because men, as we know it, especially older men, are intimidated of productive and interesting women. My gosh, it's just so clear. Single older women as a demographic are as fucked up as a group that could ever exist. 